Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris and today we're going to be doing a review of a laser. Our good friends at Shed sent us a three watt laser, it does animations. It is pretty crazy. It's only like five pounds and it's IP65 rated. Um, I'm already digging this thing and I'm going to, um, I'm going to show it to you. It's out of the box, out of the box. I don't do the box anymore, but let's check it out real quick. I've got this thing all wired up, but you have your DMX in, your DMX out. These things are locked in. They are, because it is IP65 rated, these things are locked and loaded. You have your on off button, you have your menu rotating knob there, power cable, and that's pretty much it on the back. So just wanna be upfront with you guys. I am not a laser expert. I am not a laser expert. All right, so this is a 1500 milliwatt blue an 800 milliwatt green and 800 milliwatt red, okay? So they are powerful. Um, you do not want to shine these in people's eyes. You do not want to shine them up in the sky in the US, uh, probably not anywhere else either because you don't want anybody flying a plane or anything else to be distracted or think that you're targeting them. Um, so let's try not to do that. And then if you are using them, um, they should be, uh, from everything I've read, um, 10 feet above people's heads and 10 feet below ceilings. Don't point them at cameras, stuff like that. However, I don't know what the power becomes when it is multiplied over multiple beams and stuff. It's got to be weaker, I, I would assume. But if somebody knows that for 100%, put it down in the comments below, please. And thank you, because I would like to be safe and you should too. Anything else? Yes, you would want variants in order to operate these safely. Um, so basically it's kind of like a driver's license. Some people have stated so basically you kind of register what you're doing and you let them know that you have some knowledge about that, but there are forms to fill out. Okay, so now that that's over, let's talk about the light. The light has auto modes, it has sound modes, it has many different animations, many different patterns, it's squares and circles and beams and colors. So it is pretty awesome. And it also has DMX and it has a 10 and an 18 channel and 18 is considered expert. So of course we'll be using expert. So let's, uh, let's check this out real quick and we'll show some patterns on the wall and we will put some haze in the room and we'll go a little crazy. So let's check it out. And this is under 300 bucks. Under 300 bucks. So the back of the unit, DMX in, DMX out. These connections are, um, I'm not even sure what they call them. Um, they're like a, almost like a BNC type thing. All right, so what happens when you power on the unit? You power on the unit. There we go. All right, so we have the display. We have all sorts of different settings. What we have is we can change the position of everything, we can move everything around. The galvanometer is 10 to 40K, so you can adjust that. What that basically means is it's like the scanning rate, um, and if you were to turn it way down, it'll start to get a little more pixelated and a little more flashy, fluttery. Um, actually, it looks like this. I'll show you. So that pretty much keeps things smooth. I'm gonna go turn it down now. And as I turn it down, you'll start to see the image start to, you're actually seeing it kind of scanning it. And as I turn it up, you'll see it get a little crisper. And with that, since it goes to 40, I like to not push it, because the more you push it, I notice the machine seems to struggle more. That's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at 25. Anyway, and like you said, you have your channel set up, etc. And you can go through some shows. It's playing a show, there's a show listing. Um, you can go through all the shows, you can go through the entire list, or you can start to pick some. So I'm just gonna give you an idea of some of the animations on the wall without any haze, because inside there you can set up all most of this stuff and then you can do the auto programs such as this. And you can see we got nice colors, we got different patterns. 
And obviously these things are gonna shine with haze, but just wanna give you an idea. And I'm gonna flip through some of the little shows real quick. My hand's not in the lens, just to give you an idea. All right, show listing. Stuff. We got some snakes and ostrich, <laughs> some fun stuff, and we're gonna go ahead and leave it in that. Play setup, play mode, random play, play speed. We're at 50%. Setup. Now I didn't see a um, a mic for mic sensitivity, but we're gonna try to put it in music mode and see what we have. You know, I turned on the music and it was doing really good and I was like, this is kind of wasting your time and I just think that I need to haze up the room right now and go through some of that and then hit you with uh, some of the stuff you can do with DMX because it's really cool. All right, give me one second. Three, two, one. <laughs>
<laughs> That's pretty banging. Badass. I said it. Okay. Uh, let's look at some TMX stuff real quick. All right. <laughs> but now when you get things like this, you can actually twist and turn them. You can do these auto things. You can set this up with DMX so you can rotate them on the X axis, X axis, the Y axis. You can auto rotate them, uh, which are awesome. And you can see all the beams and they're kind of cylindrical right now, which is awesome too. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to catch that just right. Yeah, they're pretty banging. You can do both things. You can have them twist up and down all around. So even one little simple shape like this, and then you can have it pinch in and out. You can have it move back and forth, up and down. It was just up on a wooden wall by itself, but very cool. So there's a heart in there and I was able to pre-do this and record it basically, um, set up a little DMX program and record it in here. As you can see, I have a little button right here that says laser heart. I mean, then when you have something like this, you have something like this, you can pretty much make it run across, run across the way, you get it going the right way. Very cool. All you need is the sound effects. Call me crazy. You can rotate them. So pretty much anything you do, if you speed it up, you're gonna get some great laser patterns. Looking at me, looking at me. Who are you looking at me? Over here. Um, but like I was saying, I'm going for shapes. So let me find some shapes. Here are some shapes. Can access this all DMX just got to know how to get to it but once we get stuff like this like the flat beams then you can really get into the distorting and then you get this really cool effects and you can see how cool they are and you can speed them up slow them down but yet you don't have to do this distorting like I'm doing which is cool you can see I got a nice slow move on right here. All right, so I'm gonna back that up a little bit. But you can see these cool effects you can get. And then even with those, you can really start to move them around a lot and start to do different things with them. I like look at this kind of like scanning kind of feature by using the X and Y axes. So that's by using the X and by using the Y. You can get it to do stuff like this, the Z. You can get it to rotate. So you get that liquid sky type of effect. Or actually, you do get liquid sky, really. Um, but even with that, the haze, and if we change the lattice scan, we now have beams. Lots and lots of beams. You can find that happy medium where they don't flicker as much. And this is just a really cool effect. They kind of go through each other. And then again, like I said, you can just really make these things go nuts if you're programming this thing. Yeah, wavy davy, right? All right, now we'll show you this liquid sky like look from the other side. Actually, we'll give you a couple more effects here. Hey, so thank you. Thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. We're just about hit 5,000 and thank you so much. I cannot uh, say enough. I appreciate you guys coming back. I really like this light. It is cool. Lasers are cool. You got to be safe with them, as you already know, and as we discussed earlier. Well, we didn't discuss it, but I mentioned it, so that's uh, I'm trying to do my part. I just want to say thanks again to Sheds for sending me this light. I really like it. It is 280 bucks right now on Sheds.com. It is cool. It is a three watt laser. Um, I believe it's 1500 milliwatt blue, 800 and 800, both red and green, if my memory serves me correct, which means it's over three. It's like 3.1. But anyway, um, neither that there nor there. Something like that. Is that right? I don't know. So, uh, very cool light, guys. Um, 
it does come with the manual, which is, you know how the manuals are. They're, they're not great, but um, they get you into it and get you, uh, give you a good idea of what the program for your DMX if you're gonna go that route. It just comes with a mounting bracket. It doesn't come with an O-clamp, it comes with a mounting bracket, and it comes with um, a DMX cable and a power cable. And what else can I say? It just, navigating DMX is a little difficult because the, finding the patterns you want, they're not like listed in there that's basically two controls for it and you have to mix and match to find the groupings that you want but other than that it's pretty easy to use so once you find them if you find your favorites and set them but the um the auto modes work nice and the sound active mode works cool uh, as you saw with music i thought it was cool anyway especially hit my mic especially if you can use haze if you can't use haze not really worth using lasers all right so i have some footage which i'm probably showing right now of it outside if you do use it outside don't point it up um, unless you have variants and you know what you're doing and you're nowhere near an airplane because um, i'm not sure but i put it up about 10 12 feet on a tree pointed it down and i had a little help from my friends up north there were some wildfires in canada so there was like haze for days haze for days so once again guys thanks for checking out this video throw me a thumbs up if you liked it leave some comments below please especially if you know what type of power is being used once it is turned into a shape like this. Um, I have read that you can scan with some lasers. Maybe they have power settings where you can lower the power to scan crowds, but I'm not sure how this is. I'm not gonna scan a crowd anyway, but I just wanna know if it flashes in front of them um, on fluke, or if I miscalculate a little bit that it's not going to kill anybody, which I've had this for a little while and I don't think it will, but if I do a single beam or something like that, probably really bad. Once again, guys, thank you so much. And uh, I am now officially a man in a box. There's three beams, four beams. And again, you can always change them up. You can actually go through and change the colors too. So this is just the one I like. This is, I mean, this is actually white, but um, for some reason, the second set of colors seem to be what they're supposed to be, um, but you can change them and then you can have them change. So you can change them any color that they have in here, which is a nice variety. You can even do these rainbow-like effects, these multi-scanning effects, color changing. You can see them changing. A lot of different color effects and then again you still can change that so you get the beams instead change it even more change it up we'll get some different things going on and then we'll get right down to it this effect in here before we do anything was just like this and then we start distorting it change the uh, lattice scan spin so dope let's slow that thing down you can see what it looks like when you're looking into it but you can see the multi-colors on these things and all the things you can do so just Lasers are amazing, but you got to use caution. So you can do this for days. <laughs> okay, not days, but you can do it a lot. And then what else can we do? You're seeing it like this now. You can actually have it depict, so it'll draw it. Very cool. I'm going the wrong way with my effect. Hold on a second. A couple more effects and we out.
Obviously, when the haze comes up and through, it's really a super cool effect as you start to see the smoke coming through it. Oh, so cool. And now that we're in here, I'm gonna step right inside, take one for the team here. And this is what you would get if you were inside. How cool is that? So if you're a content creator, if you wanna do some cool stuff, you're making a movie, you wanna be in the Matrix, you can do some cool stuff like this.